The Psi Matrix's power structures are accessible from three locations across Aya. We must divide our forces to destroy them. I shall coordinate you and your executor's efforts from aboard the Spear of Adun. We can begin as soon as you are ready, Hierarch. The Psionic Matrix is the beating heart of Aya, formed from a lattice of Kedaran crystals embedded within the planet's crust. Its power structures can only be accessed from three points. If we destroy them, it should disable the warp network. I will send three forces. We shall destroy the Matrix before Amon can recall the Golden Armada to Aya. Vorazum, Alarak, you must enter the Citadel of the Executor to reach the first power structure, but the city has been infested. No matter. We shall purge Antioch of the Zerg. Even if I must do it myself. Tell me, how did you lose ire to these animals? Did they leap up and chew apart your starships? The Zerg were once the greatest threat my people faced. Only a fool would underestimate them. Well then, I will bow to your experience as the fool. Are you down yet? Or do I need to keep slaughtering the Zerg here? It's been opened. Finally. Now let us continue. ...to be done. We have nearly reached the power structure. Press forward, High Lord. Orders from you? Well, I agree with this choice. The inner chamber is completely sealed. My stealth will not avail us here. Then let us try a more direct approach. Guard me while I prepare. The Zerg will surely sense my growing power. Almost. Just a moment longer. Zerg and a power structure will trouble us no more. Contact the others and tell them of the victory I have brought you. Rohana, Alarak and I have destroyed the power structure. Alert the next team that they may begin. Carax, Phoenix, the loss of the first power structure has not gone unnoticed. Hybrid have convened to defend the area. Good. They shall suffer the full extent of my wrath. All in good time, friend Phoenix. The Hybrid are a powerful foe, and if we're going to face them, we will need support. I've spent quite some time studying void energy. I should be able to reclaim robotic units and structures from Amon. Then let us assemble our army, so a hybrid may fall before it. It will be. The way is open. We are united. Your crusade has failed. With the hybrid eliminated, we can safely destroy the power structure. There. The Matrix was never meant to be dismantled like this. It has released a massive overflow of psionic energy from the surface of Ire. I fear you are in great peril. Psionic energy is gathering in the cavern behind you. 
If it reaches your position... Do not fear, Karax. My warriors and I will keep ahead of the energy storm. Victory is still within our grasp. Artanis, I am sending my Dark Templar to clear the path ahead. They shall aid your advance. As will the purifiers, deploying war prisons. The Taldarine shall win this battle for you. My warriors are joining your forces now. The purifiers are fighting near your position, Artanis. You nearly destroyed a major hive cluster. We serve at your command. Press on. The energies are closing in behind us. They're My Dark Templar are just ahead of your position, Hierarch. They have nearly taken down the final hive cluster. We are strong. To me, Eresi. Several Nidus Worms are defending the final power structure. My Dark Templar will aid you in destroying them. Slay the Zerg! We are nearly there! No doubt. The final power structure. When it falls, the Psi Matrix will be no more. You have done it, Artanis. We have stayed the Golden Armada's advance, for now. Initiating Dimensional Recall. I cannot begin to understand the depth of your sorrow, Artanis. Such noble Templar, now made a monstrosity. Those left, trapped in a body controlled by Amon. It is the most horrific of fates. But what pains me is the uncertainty of facing them. They are my brothers. Sisters. When we strike these abominations, will our brethren bear witness within? Will they be silent watchers? Or are they already lost to oblivion? I can offer you little comfort or surety, my friend. But know what you do is the only course. Now that the Psi Matrix has fallen, Amon cannot warp the Golden Armada back to Ire to defend himself. We must destroy his host body before it fully awakens. For the sake of our people, we cannot falter. upon Amon. These shards, they generate void energy. 
drain life around them to feed his host body. They must be destroyed. The land near them has been destabilized. It's almost as if he's terraforming the area, turning it into the void. Wait, the shards are opening rifts, summoning entities to defend them. Then we are running out of time. Warriors, ready your blades. We fight for the future of Ire. Annihilation commences. A second shard has been destroyed. I can already sense Amon's protection weakening. Artanis, there are several locations surrounding Amon's form that would serve as excellent forward outposts. Clear out the enemy, and our forces will provide you with additional support. The void shards are growing increasingly unstable. Engage them cautiously. We do not fully understand their power. Well done, Templar. The third shard has fallen before us. Our pylons. Amon's downfall is at hand. Calderim, your High Lord demands the Dark God's blood. Do not disappoint me. Hierarch, the remaining shards are bleeding void energy. Approaching them will be extremely dangerous. Victory nears, my brothers! Fight with all you have! This is it, brothers! All of our hopes rest upon this moment! Ready your weapons, now! host has been destroyed. Ready the keystone, Carax. Our final stand approaches. You have surprised my people, Hierarch. They knew little of the bravery of the Templar. Some are even impressed by it. They have fought nobly, Alarak. I am honored that they stand with me. They admire your conviction and brutality. And if we are victorious this day, will they continue to stand with me? If I will it. But now is not the time to muse upon future things. Not when my vengeance awaits. Can you sense the hope, Matriarch? I do. If we succeed, we will have a new chance to forge the unified society we strove for on Shakuras. We will preserve the traditions of the Nerezim. They will not be forgotten. In time, they may be. I fear losing our old ways, Artanis. But as we've worked with the Taldarim and the Purifiers, I now see that it is inevitable. Traditions must change as we do. A day may come when we leave behind the Shadow Walk, just as you have abandoned the Kala and the caste system. That is the price we must pay to become truly one people. So I have come to believe. You seem troubled by so much loss, Hierarch. How could one not be? But the brooding you sense is only concern for the task at hand. 
to convince our people that they must shed what they hold most sacred. You convinced me. I, who held the Kala above all else. You knew the risk that connection was presenting to us. Indeed. Though I seldom knew his possession, each was horrifying. I bore silent witness to the mockery he made of me. I cannot imagine the suffering they have experienced below. The release they must yearn for. In Tarl Adun, Artanis. Hierarch, it is done. The Zelnaga Keystone is ready for deployment. Indeed. However, the duration of the effect still deeply concerns me. It is our only option. We must believe that there will be enough time to speak reason. No matter what happens, if we die, we all die Templar. And I thank you for that. For your faith in me. It has been my eternal honor to serve you, Hierarch. I have been blessed to truly get to know you, Artanis. To call you friend, not just because of memory, but through experience. Our journey is not yet over, friend Phoenix. If we win this day, know that the glory of building a new civilization lies ahead, and I will need you to help me do it. It is a task I greatly look forward to. But I no longer wish to be called by the name Phoenix. Oh? I am honored to choose my own name. It will be Talendar. Talendar. One who bears a strong heart. A fitting name. So it shall be. The Keystone is ready, Hierarch. We await your command. Carax, open a channel to our entire fleet. I will address the Templar. My brethren, hear me, for there is little time left. All that remains of our race, our civilization, are those that stand beside you now, and those corrupted on the surface below. Our kind once stood as stewards of a galaxy full of promise. In our pride and division, we failed that sacred charge and fell to ruin. The Kala, designed to bring unity, ultimately only aided those divisions. Its hope was a lie. Today, that lie must come to its end, and with it, our prejudice and arrogance must become a thing of the past. For we now fight in the belief that our kind has not seen its end. That we, Protoss, can stand bound by a belief in unity. And that we, Protoss, will forge a great and mighty new civilization. Trust each other in the fight ahead. Strike as one will! Let our last stand burn a memory so bright that we will be known throughout eternity! The Keystone is in place, Hierarch. It will require time to charge to its full power. The Nerezim stand ready, Artanis. We will hold the northern entrance to the temple. The Purifiers and I will secure the Southern Approach. And I lay claim to the primary battle line. Amon shall know my wrath firsthand. My forces will ensure the Keystone's safety and provide for our defense. We will reinforce your warriors as we are able. Hierarch, the Zerg surround us. But what of the Golden Armada? Disabling the Psi Matrix delayed their return, but... Amon will bring the full might of the Great Fleet to bear against us. Of that, there is no doubt. But we shall not break. We are the Daylon, united as never before. 
Entaro Adun. Entaro Tassadar. Entaro Zeratu. Amon is using the Armada's most powerful ships against the Keystone. As painful as it will be, we have no choice but to destroy them. You claim to save your people, yet here you stand, a butcher. Only desolation awaits. Artanis, the Golden Armada has begun attacking the Spear of Adun. I'll try to support your forces, but we're taking heavy damage. This vessel serves as a beacon for your hope. Your faith is misplaced. Where there was one salvation, now all shall be consumed by the cleansing flame. The assault cluster is failing. Orbital bombardment systems are offline. The Keystone's energy matrix has reached the halfway point. We must hold on. I will remake this universe as it should have been. Perfect! Hull breach detected. Defensive lattice is offline. Dimensional recall systems failing. Shining symbol of arrogance. Let your pride be your downfall. Gods, their ships are diving headlong into the Spear of Adun. The core is going critical. Hierarch, we can no longer support you. You have done enough, Rohana. The Keystone is approaching full power. Evade them as long as you can. Their blood is on your hands, Arcanus. False savior. Your defiance means their death. Hierarch, I see an unending tide of Protoss signatures. He's sending every last one of the possessed Templar against the Keystone. We will hold, Karax. We must. The Keystone is approaching maximum energy output. Victory is nearly upon us! Do not lose hope, brothers! Base is under attack. The siege. This my warriors have engaged the enemy. Energy matrix charged. The keystone is ready, Hierarch. Warriors, pull back to the keystone. Let them come to us. Lendis. Templar! Rid yourselves of Amon! Sever your nerve cords! We are one in the color. Without the color, what will we become? Free.
the Dark One has been banished back into the Void. For now, we are free. All of this because of you. I will bring our great dream of a unified Protoss to bear. We will gather the survivors, rebuild our cities. We will reject our old divisions and forge a new society. Together, we will shape our destiny amongst the stars. Receiving an unauthorized transmission. It is from Ulnar. It is Kerrigan. <laughs> <laughs>